Uh, the hiring of an asset management coordinator. Do we have someone who would make uh, that motion? Um, Councillor DePlacey. I move that Council approve the hiring of the individual named in the management report HR 2022-02 for the position of asset management coordinator reporting to the Director of Engineering effective June 15th, 2022. Thank you, Councillor. Seconded by Councillor King on the question. Oh, Councillor DePlacey. Um, Director Rao, again, sorry, I keep coming back to you, but um, just, again, asset management um, as a term is a bit vague for, I think, the general public, and I think people in the general public and taxpayers are always um, listening closely when we're doing additional hiring and growing our, our kind of uh, bureaucracy, so um, I'd ask for you to just kind of give a, a quick kind of synopsis of, of asset management and, and how this position would um, provide value to the department. Sure, to Councillor DePlacey. So um, interesting, uh, you know, we did have a workshop today on asset management and uh, we went through quite a few of our assets. And I can tell you the value of our assets are, you know, we're not, they haven't finalized them yet, but we're in the six to eight million dollar, hundred million dollar range. Gives you an idea of, of how much assets we do have. And of that, there, there's over, you know, 10,000 items of individual assets. So it, it's a lot. And what we're, what the goal is here is to, come up with, uh, help us with budgets every year to analyze things, come up with good planning and, and uh, get the analytics into, th into asset management. They're gonna be putting together 10, 20 year plans. You know, we do, we do five year plans now and we're trying to get to 10, but we need someone that can drive the data and, and give us those, those better, uh, better plans, right? To see the long term ahead. Um, it's, uh, they're gonna take the information that we're doing now with our consultant and do uh, you know, every two or three years, do a state of the infra infrastructure. So it, there's just a lot of, of data to analyze, and, and we don't have someone for that now. And they're going to just add good value doing that. It, it is a lot. Bring bring it all together with all the departments. You know, with uh, you know, we have a large fleet. It's it's any asset we own. They're going to bring. They're going to look at and uh, and bring it all in and wrap it up. Help us with budgets. So it's going to make everybody's job easier, inclu including councils. So, yeah. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, it does 100%, um, and um, I'll obviously support the motion. I did a bit of a follow-up, though. Like, I understand that the, the long-term um, benefit of it, but will we see kind of like um, kind of short-term, like will it affect the decisions that we're asked to be made in the next three years kind of thing, right? I think that uh, in the short term, in the six months, uh, probably not, but sure, I would say in the next budget season, Yes, it will. You know, it'll just be get familiar with the, how the budgets work this year, and, and you know what we want to do. But but going forward, you know, not not you'll see shorter than than five years. You know, it'll be in the next year or two. So, but not in not in a few months. No, it, it's it is a longer term project. Yeah. Yep. No, appreciate it. And Thank you. Happy to make some yeah, and there would be, just to confirm, Director Rao, there would be a connectivity between the efforts you just described and one of our strategic plan objectives is to get into multi-year capital budgeting and to have a three-year rolling capital budget. And that, that would certainly be connected, would it not? Yeah, thank you. Seeing nothing further, I'll call the vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And second, uh, or lastly, I guess, this evening is a motion regarding the hiring of a tourism marketing